All right, today we're going to learn how to do geofencing and be able to set up a geofencing campaign. So we log into our back office. Figure out what business you want to start the campaign for. Log into there. You want to choose geofence. You want to add a fence. So you come over here to geofences. Add geofence. Now what you're doing here is you can have a set uh, geofence that you already have set up. Like right here, you see we got it set for the San Diego gas plant area. So I can say downtown San Diego. And now it's going to have a geofence for that I can assign to people's accounts. So maybe I had a lot of San Diego clients. I want to I want to be able to offer this to different ones. I already have it ready. I'll just have it saved. And now anybody that comes within this radius and in, in, into this geofence will be getting our notifications. Okay. All right, so now we got our geofence. Let's also go to the campaign, show you how you would make your campaign. And if you want to sign that one as well as anything else, how you would do so. So you add a campaign, name your campaign. So I'm going to name mine the San Diego Gas Lamp for the Gas Lamp District. It's type of deal we're gonna make it a um, we're gonna make it a deal so let's put with the headline headline goes here choose your photo this would be your advertisement your graphic your design your um, your coupon all the above I'm just gonna pick a, a picture Pick how many times uh, you want your, you want to send a campaign when they come into that radius. We're gonna put once. We're gonna put the, you put the start date that you want your campaign to start. Like maybe you set a client up, he's gonna start at the end of the week, or he's gonna start you know a couple of days. So maybe he's gonna start today. How long that campaign runs for? Maybe the client's gonna only be doing this for a, a month or sixty days. You can set that up, and you don't have to worry about coming in here and, and, and changing it. You can already have it be automated. So. That's what that's for. Again, if you want to add capture for phones, emails, names, you do it right here by just click by clicking these boxes. I'm gonna leave it blank. New geofence, you can use the existing one. Remember, I was telling you if we were using the existing one, then you push this, and then you see if you can pick any one of the ones that was already in, in effect. But we're gonna pick a new geofence. And you type in the address of that geofence right here. So let's say we're doing the gas lamp like we got, but I'm just gonna put in the address. So it's San Diego gas lamp quarter. And let's say you wanted to target a little bit further. We only got the gas lamp, but you wanted to get the Broadway right here also. We can make the radius bigger, move it over. So now we got the gas lamp as well as all these freeways. So when the freeway, someone's on the front, on the, in their car, and they cross into our geofence, they're going to get our notification when they have our app. Okay? And that's what you see right there. So that's what's going to pop up on their phone at this particular time. And it's really that simple. So you hit save, and you're done. You're broadcasting. It's just that simple, just that easy. And um, you can see some of the prior ones I had put a geofence on my house so I'll show you but I'll show my what I'll show my address I'll show you what that looks like so there we log in and you can see right there that these are the ones that I did prior um, earlier 
And these, these are from the geofence that's around my house right now, and it's transmitting. Okay, so that's what you see. That's why it's been showing so much, because I'm walking around my house and I keep triggering it. So I put a geofence around my house, and that's the results. So any place you put a geofence around, it's going to pick up that signal. You see right here as well, old campaign, you see it's been viewed 10 times. So you can see what this would look like. You can see what this would look like if you're looking at your dashboard. You can see your analytics. So you'll be able to give your customers these analytics. Okay? And they'll see exactly how many times their, their campaign was viewed, when it was viewed, and uh, how, how often, how many times. So this is how you set it up your geofencing. Very, very easy to do. Okay? Very, very uh, quick. Just add your camp, uh, set up your geofence first. If you want to have them already uh, lined up, if not, then you can just set up a campaign, add your campaign, fill in the blanks, fill in the areas, set your geofence, name your geofence, and then save. And it's really that simple. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a blessed day.